a wind-blown, God-fearing island rich in peat and Gaelic heritage and wholly charming. No wonder Donald Trump likes to boast of his links to Lewis. His mother came from here. Did it help to make him the man he is today? And how have the values of these hard-working, plain-speaking folk shaped the billionaire developer? They're not for blowing their own trumpets here. They're not, they're not ones for fanfaring themselves. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. No matter what, your, your, your position in life, you're treated as an equal. We won with poorly educated. I love the poorly educated. Some brilliant people, very warm-hearted people. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. We're very proud of people who make such a great impact on the international scene. And, and I, I mean, the hairdo could, let's be honest, it could be better. I'm on a whistle-stop tour of the island in search of answers and, above all, facts. Donald's mother, Mary McLeod, came from the tiny village of Tong on Lewis. She left for New York when she was 18 and ran into a builder called Trump. And the rest, as they say, is histrionics. The Trumps told US TV viewers they saw a lot of their boy. He comes very often. I'd say once a week, would Just you about say that? At yes. least once, once a week, week he comes. He comes for dinner. He likes his mother's cooking. <laughs> The tycoon visited his mother's old home back in 2008, spending as much as a minute and a half inside the pebble-dashed croft house. All in all, he clocked up almost three hours on the P.T. Lewis sod. It seems that the women come back and the men tend to go out and try and make a buck. And I've been you know, very busy and building jobs all over the world and it's very, very tough to find the time to come back. But this just seemed an appropriate time because I have the plane, we land, I wanted to see it. Trump's cousins still live in Tong, but they prefer not to talk to the media. What about at the local shop then? The Western Isles, including Lewis, rejected the Yes campaign in the Scottish independence referendum. And Trump's had his ups and downs with the nationalists over his golf course, a solid two iron away on the mainland. I don't mind the politicians, I don't mind the rain. I don't mind Brian Island and a Tory and insane. I don't mind the Putting the folk into focus group, this bunch in Stornoway were among the few willing to share their thoughts about Mr. Trump. Do you know anyone who says, look, don't quote me, but I'm dead chuffed that Donald is one of us? I've not heard it. I've never heard his name mentioned. Why is that? I don't know. I think, I think um, it, he, he, he doesn't behave as, as people up here would, would, would behave. He's, um, he's extremely full of himself, which people... Here aren't, they're, they're, they're quite modest, really. Do you know anything about the family? What are they like? They don't play on it, do oh, they? No, no, not at all. No, no, they're just normal people. And the stereotype is that all Lewis stories are gloomy. You, you know, the definition of a happy ending in a Lewis story is if you get the body back. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they're not all like that at all. There's a whole other seam of Lewis stories, the clever peasant girl who gets one over the layered. We love that kind of story as well. So the stereotypes don't work. <laughs> but isn't the story of Mary McLeod a brilliant real life Lewis story. Here she is, a girl from the country who goes away to New York and her son 
could be President of the United States. That's going to be part of Lewis folklore. Oh, absolutely. It's wonderful because... <laughs> You're the first course, person who oh, says no, so. No, no, I'm very happy to see that because, of course, in, in Lewis, our, our main passion is, is a blood sport. I know it's not fashionable in the rest of Britain, but we like blood sport. But our blood sport is genealogy. Who are your people? The qualities that I would uh, hope that he would take from these islands is the qualities of kindness, um, being accepting of others, regardless of their religious uh, beliefs, regardless of what country they're from. Donald Trump's a chip off the old block. He can trace his ancestry to these ancient standing stones. He's from Lewis, up to a point, but it would be stretching things to say he's of Lewis. But just as we were leaving, a sign, a pot of gold, attended by mystery and folklore. Now who does that remind me of?